I'll come in whenever I want. What's happening, YouTube? Hey, you probably was looking at the title like, what the fuck? Yes, this is not recently. This actually took place about almost four years ago. Um, yes, I caught a DUI. Um, did this video just to show you guys, hey, I'm human. Anybody else is on a, some type of platform. People are human. A lot of people don't show that they fuck up in life, man. But I'm here to tell you, hey, I fuck up my life. I'm not perfect. I fucked up. If you do make that mistake in life, just learn from it, man, and move on from it. Just because you make a mistake don't mean you can't be successful. Your life is over. You just got to learn from it and keep going. Um, it was mo probably one of the most embarrassing, expensive situations I've ever went through. I'm not going to lie. I was nervous as fuck because I'm like, fuck, man, I'm going to go to jail. <laughs> All I kept thinking about is how many people I arrested. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna have to get in here and knock somebody the fuck out <laughs> immediately. That's all I was thinking about. I'm like, I'm gonna have to hit a guard or something. I was like, I can't go in regular population. I, I see how cops be nervous when they go to jail. I mean, I'm not a cop, but still, I was nervous as fuck, I'm not gonna lie. But uh, yeah, man, it was one of those situations where I was out hunting. I was at a bar trying to blend in and you know, I couldn't keep ordering Cokes. So I actually ordered a couple of drinks and wound up drinking. I, you know, obviously I felt fine. I uh, got pulled over, said I was swerving, and it was a wrap. I got pulled over by the state patrol, man. State patrol do not fuck around. You already get pulled over by the state patrol, your ass getting a ticket or you going to jail, one or two. They rarely let you go, ever. So um, just show you guys, man, I'm human just like you guys. I'm no different, fuck ups and all. I have a lot of flaws, man, I work on daily, but if you have fucked up something serious like this, just remember, you can come back from it, you can learn, learn from it, and capitalize off of it, man. It is a lesson I will never fuck up. I don't even like using mouthwash and getting in the car no more. I mean, you're talking about the amount of money paying attorneys to get out of it. I am still suffering from paying high-ass insurance right now from this shit. Do not drink a drive, and then, what was so serious about mine was I had guns in the car, obviously, because I carried weapons. So um, I was facing felonies. So my career was, I was scared I was going to lose my career. Um, it was serious, man. I was, it was like F2, um, F2 charge, F2 felonies I was facing. So uh, y'all know my phone never start ringing, never start ringing. <laughs> so again, I was facing felonies, man. You know, uh, thank God I was able to get out of it. Um, I had to wind up writing a note to the state of Ohio of insurance, just explaining what happened, how it changed, and you know, um, shit like this will never happen again. But again, it was embarrassing. I had to go to a treatment place over the weekend. Um, it was different attorneys coming in and out. People knew who I was. It was just fucking embarrassing, man. So, um, just showing you guys, hey, I've dealt with my own personal problems with the law. Um, but that did not uh, predict where I was going to go. I didn't give up. I didn't fucking get all sad and depressed and say, fuck it. Um, I just capitalized off it, learned from it. And trust me, that mistake will not be happening again. So, hey, learn from your mistakes. Don't get down on yourself if you fuck up, man. I know sometimes we, we do stupid shit and it seems like it's the end of the world. It's not, okay? It's not. You're going to get through it. Just fucking keep moving. Push through that shit. So, hey. Catch y'all later. Just sharing some of my bullshit that I've done in, in my past. So let you guys know I am human. And people, hey, players fuck up too, man. I fuck up. I fucked up bad. I fucked up yeah, bad. Another thing, man, I, I honestly, <laughs> I think, I think the, 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 the fucking breathalyzer test is fucking retarded. I mean, I can't pass that shit sober. I mean, they had me walking in a straight line. I mean, what if you just had leg day? You know, it's hard as fuck to walk a straight line. What if you just got done, you know, tearing up some ass or something? You got home with your girl or your wife, you got done tearing something down, your legs tired. You know, that fatigues you. It'll tear you up, man. It's hard. You got to walk a straight line and then walk backwards? But this will fuck me up. They got the pen. You know how they check your pupils. And he's, like, trying to follow my eyes. I'm like, bruh, my left eye do what the fuck you want to do. I have a wandering eye. So you trying to follow it and make it look for this pen ain't work. First off, you giving me a headache. I told her, I was like, bro, like you could do that with my right eye, but you can't be moving that pen around my left. You're gonna have me dizzy as hell. That 
My left eye is like a pinball. That bitch just be going wherever you want. And yeah, I crack jokes in my eye because it's my eye. If you crack jokes with me in person, I will slap the shit out of you. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. But uh, nah, don't crack jokes on my eye though. Nah, you gotta be real close to me for me to let that pop. Nah, I'm just fucking with you. This is something I did with my entire life growing up. It ain't shit you can say a joke about that I ain't heard, but I mean, I just feel like, man, anyway, just go back to feel like the, the, the test is just crazy, man. Like, I, I, I remember doing the test. First off, it was freezing cold outside. I was shivering. So that was another factor to play in there. But neither here nor there. I shouldn't have did it. It was dumb as fuck. I deal with fucked up cops just like anybody else do, man, believe it or not. I get to no privilege. You know, sometimes people see me, they know who I am. They'll be cool, but I deal with the same stuff as any other young black male does, you know. Um, I, a situation happened where I was in the car, I'll never forget, I was in the car and I got pulled over and the cop was like, let me get your license and registration. I, I, I remember I said, officer, um, that's no problem, but my license and registration is in the glove apartment. I am armed, there are weapons there. And he was like, that's okay, grab it. I was like, sir, I don't feel comfortable grabbing my driver's license when my pistol was in my glove apartment. And he looked at me, he smirked. I swear to God, this is a true story. He looked at me, smirked, he kind of giggled, walked back to his cruiser, and just walked off. Now, this happened in Canton, Ohio. No bullshit. It was it scared the shit out of me, <laughs> but you got to be smart, man. So one of the things I do when I get pulled off, I'm going to give my guys my secret. I'm not saying this is going to stop for some crazy shit happening, but so far it has kept me out of trouble. Um, you get pulled over, what I do is I, am, I over-exaggerate. I do the most. I stick literally my whole body out the car and my hands like this. So there's no mistaking you can see my hands. The, the camera on the dashboard is going to see my hands and half my body. That's how I get pulled over. It's so over-exaggerated that I make officers uncomfortable. Like, they have to tell me to relax. I remember cop was like, hey, man, just relax, just chill, man. It's, it's, it's cool. I make them uncomfortable. <laughs> but that's a couple words for hey, you get pulled over, man. Make sure, you know, your body, make sure they can see your hands, man. Don't give nobody no reason. Sometimes people still do some messed up stuff, but don't give nobody a motherfucking reason. And just give respect even if you don't want to, even if they're wrong. It's kind of like dealing with your parent. When your parent's wrong, yeah, you want to say something, but you don't, it's out of respect. And you got to do the same thing with officers, even though you don't want to. If, if you show them respect, a lot of times they leave you the fuck alone, man, they let you go. Yes, 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 sir, I'm sorry, sir. Even if you're, even if you are right and they are wrong, just go along with it. You know, you say, okay, sir, sorry, sir. Get your ticket and go about your business. A lot of times, and I'm not saying all the time, a lot of times you talk your way into some shit, getting smart with them, disrespecting them, resisting arrest. You gonna get your ass whooped if you resist arrest. Resisting arrest is talking shit and not doing what they saying. You can't be saying, you can't be talking shit and resisting arrest at the same time and then complaining and talking about, look what he doing to me, doing this, doing that. They heard me. You can't, you can't do shit like that, man. Just fucking cooperate. And I'm not saying there's not going to be no trouble. I'm saying it will help you stay out of trouble, man. So I'm not going to talk out of depth. I'm going to actually do an in-depth video about that. But, hey, appreciate y'all checking out the videos. Just, again, telling y'all some, you know, some of the fuck-ups I had in life. But I bet y'all won't fuck up no more. I bet you that. I, you should see, see when you see me driving with some alcohol, shit. <laughs> shit. I told y'all, I don't even like doing mouthwash no more. I'm nervous. I'm nervous as hell. But catch y'all later. Take my advice, please. I don't want to see nobody getting in no trouble or causing unnecessary problems, man. Again, I know you guys going to be commenting, man, this shit don't work. Not all the time it does. You got some fucked up individuals who don't care and they're still going to be on some trash but you can control you control you control your actions you can't control nobody else's but you can control yours